X-ray beam geometry. It's assumed that we qualifieds understand what it all means. But over the last 20 years I've been testing not just qualifieds but students and a vast number, the majority, I should say three quarters of all radiographers fail to understand the most fundamental principle upon which every projection is made. I'll give you the test, see how you go. Now if I turn this light on, it shines down here, you can see how it makes the shadow down here. Now if I push this tube angulation button here, that just changes the angle of the tube, what will happen to the shadow of that sponge? Think very carefully about it. What is going to happen to the shadow of that sponge? Remember that three quarters of the people that I ask this to in the profession make a mistake, a fundamental error. Think very carefully. What does it mean? I'm going to go like this. All right? I'm going to angle the tube. What happens to the shadow? Let's just have a look. Let's have a look down here. We have the shadow and we have the tube angling. Nothing. The angle of the tube does not change the geometry. It doesn't change where the x-rays are coming from. It doesn't change the straight line that they come from, through. And so the divergent beam is largely a myth. There is just a portion of the beam that you are using, another portion that you are not using. But if you understand this principle, then you close a feedback loop. Everything you do teaches you to be more careful, more understanding. It teaches you the anatomy. Make sure you get your collimation right so you have all of the best practices put in place. Make sure you're on a continuing le learning curve. You are advancing yourself. You are striving for perfection. But without this X-ray beam geometry principle, you go nowhere. Sorry about that. Don't make the rules. That's the way it is.